Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to make Lucille 2.0. Alright, so here's the stuff I'm going to use. First of all, uh, most of the stuff I bought online. Well, like, I bought the bat and the barbed wire online. So, I bought the Brooklyn Vasher uh, virtually unbreakable bat. Unless you drill into it or whatever. Uh, so yeah, I've tested this thing. This thing will not break. But it really hurts your hand when you hit something. So that's one big thing I'm going to fix. And yeah, I got the barbed wire. Just 20 feet. Uh, Alright, we got the saw blade. And we got this bolt thing. Alright, so this is going to be Lucille 2.0. So there's going to be some differences from the one in the show and in the comics. First of all, uh, this is not wood, but it's polypropylene. And it has a saw blade. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. There's probably some more that I can't think of right now. But uh, yeah, there's, so it's, it's going to be a little bit better than the one in the show. Anyways. Uh... Yeah, I'm just really excited for this. So what I'm going to start out doing, I've done this many times. I'm just going to draw a straight line around this. I got the lights. And uh, I'm also going to draw a point right here where the saw blade is going to go. It's going to go like this. I'm still not sure if I want it to move or stay stationary. I'll figure that out later. But yeah, so I'm going to do it right now. And here I was thinking this was the easy part. Well, this was absolutely the worst material I have ever worked with. Uh, just, it was really hard to work with. I had to use every tool I have, but I finally managed to do it. And the problem with this is it's plastic. So after it gets overheated enough, like it turns into liquid and then it melts onto whatever surface it, surface it touches. That includes skin. I got burned so many times until I realized I need to wear gloves. So, I got this to work, but if you guys ever make this, uh, I would suggest not to use this type of material. Even though it's really cool and it's, you know, unbreakable and stuff, It, I don't think it's worth it. You know, everything's a mess around here. But, I don't know, I got it done. So yeah, now we're going to see if I can drill through it. Alright, so that wasn't that hard as I thought it would be. But um, yeah, it worked. It looks really cool. I'm actually kind of glad I used this now. I don't know if I should take back what I said before or not, but this was still really hard to work with. Now we're gonna see what I can do with the barbed wire, but first, before I do that, I'm gonna clean this all up, and yeah, I don't, I wouldn't really want this to, to stay on here, even though it does really look really cool. I mean, it did look really cool. So I'm gonna take that off, and I'm gonna clean up all this stuff. I hate this stuff. Um, yeah. Alright, I finished doing that. Now I'm gonna do I'm gonna make all the like the points and stuff and then I'm gonna grind them down. Alright, so as you can see right there, I put spikes on the whole thing. And yeah. So I normally do this at the end of the build, but uh, since I'm putting the barbed wire on and it's gonna be really hard to take off, I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now. And I'm gonna spray paint everything. Uh, so yeah, uh, but first I'm going to drill a hole right here, and this is going to be to hold the barbed wire. Alright, so this is it after paint, I think it looks so cool, so that's the saw blade, I painted it metallic, I also painted the bolt metallic, and then, yeah, painted the bat brown, and I think this is a little bit lighter, 
color than the one in the show, but I don't know. I, I think it still looks pretty cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wrap it. Alright, so yeah, the way I'm going to put the barbed wire on there is this is what this bolt is for. Um, yeah, I left a little bit of room because what I'm going to do, first of all, if you ever work with barbed wire, please use gloves. Uh, yeah, it's pretty obvious. Anyways, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this barbed wire around this bolt like a lot of times and then... I don't know, I might make a knot with it, it's going to be pretty hard to do, but I'm going to try, and then I'm going to tighten this down as hard as I can, um, so yeah, and then I'm also, I decided that I don't want to make this move, because it barely moves as it, as it is right now, so I just decided to make it stationary, so what I'm going to do for when I go up here, I'm going to like, cut these things off, and then just feed it through here. And then just, yeah, just wrap it a ton of times. I'm not going to do any particular order. I just know that right here, I have 20 feet, so I'm just going to wrap it just pretty tightly in this section. And then when it comes here, I'm just going like, to loop it around and stuff. I don't know. You'll see when I'm, when I'm wrapping it. But that's what I'm going to do right now. Alright, so I finished it, and yeah, it looks really cool. Now I'm going to give it a paracord wrap. Well, there she is. I uh, really loved how this turned out. Uh, I even think Negan himself would be proud and would definitely want to use it if he had the chance. Uh, but yeah, here it is. Now I didn't explain that much when I did this. I'm sorry, but uh, what I basically did. Wait one sec. All right. So what I basically did was I I took I basically cut it off like about right here and had like this much string to work with. And I just wrapped it underneath a screw, and I did the same thing over here, and then I just tightened it down. And yeah, there's a lot of paint missing, but hey, what do you expect? Barbed wire on a thing that's not normally brown. But, whoa. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, that's how I did it. And if you ever do it, make sure you have like a buddy with you, or somebody who can hold it because that was a pain and that would have been so much easier with two people anyways thank you guys for watching please check out the rest of my channel please like this video so you get a ton of likes um, yeah don't forget to subscribe if you're new uh, comment on things you want me to build next and improve and I did change my intro and I didn't get any uh, comments sadly but Whatever, I think it still turned out pretty cool. And, yeah, don't forget to share. Please share this video. Share it to any of you people that love The Walking Dead. Share it to your friends and everything. Pretty sure they would like it. And it also helped me out a lot. So, please do that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And see you next time on Crunch 101.